Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to import points from Excel into AutoCAD. For this purpose, in this case, I have my Excel file here, which contains a series of points from a NACA profile. It's important to highlight that you can apply this method for any coordinate system of points that you wish to import into AutoCAD. What I'm going to do now is carefully select all the points, copy them, and then transfer them to the notepad for further use. I'm going to paste it in the notepad. In the notepad, what I need to do is go to the first line, and in this first line, I will press enter to write the following. Underscore and in uppercase, you will write multiple spaces underscore point. After that, we need to do the following. For this point series file to be recognized by AutoCAD, we must not have spaces. Instead, each point coordinate must be separated by a comma. For that reason, you will carefully select this specific space that appears here using your mouse cursor, and then proceed to edit. In the editing section, go to the replace option, and here it says search. This area I have selected will automatically appear. You will leave it there, and for replace with, we will replace this space with a comma. Then you simply write a comma here and click on the Replace All option. When you click on Replace All, the notepad will automatically search for spaces and replace them throughout the series of dots with commas. Then we click Close. Once you have this ready, it is now a file recognizable by AutoCAD. We go to File, then Save As, and in this case, I will save it on the desktop. Here, I will name it, for example, Airfoil. You can use any name, and for the extension, you will put SCR, okay? It is important that you use this format. Then you save the file, and now I'm going to minimize all my open applications. Here is the file. This is the specific icon that should appear in the SCR folder. It's the one we'll be utilizing now in AutoCAD for our project. We head to AutoCAD, and here in the command area, we will write a script. Once you type the command, press the Enter key, and a small window will appear where you will select the SCR file you created. In this instance, I have it conveniently located on my desktop for easy access. You select it, click open, and here you will specify a point. In this case, I will give the point 0.0.0.0, .0 enter. And if we move in closer, you'll clearly notice that the NACA profile points have already been successfully imported. This is a method to import specific points or an entire point cloud that you wish to transfer from Excel into AutoCAD. Another topic we have is the size of the dots. As you can see, they are very small. To change the figure or how those points are displayed, you can go here to Utilities. Remember, in order for these options to appear, always be in the Drafting Annotation option, okay? It must be in that option. If you're on a different one, go to this first one so you can see the options that appear here. Go to Utilities and select Style. The first option is the default setting. In this particular case, I have decided to choose this specific option. However, you have the freedom to select any option you prefer. Additionally, here you can conveniently set the point size according to your needs. I will set it to two, then click OK, and as a result, the points will transform to a subvisualization format, which will significantly enhance the ease of selecting them effectively. If they seem too large to you, go back to Utilities, set the style, and here in Size, you can set it to, for example, one, okay? and they are now appearing much smaller. Well friends, this is a pretty simple tutorial. I hope it helps you. And remember that if you have any questions during the process, you can write them in the comments for assistance. Greetings to everyone.